Increasing the efficiency of kelp farming to improve life underwater by Sarah Cornick and Lucas Farnitz. Kelp farming can be a very valuable resource in solving one of our leading global marine problems, ocean acidification. As it grows, kelp purifies the water, um, removing not only the excess carbon dioxide and turning it into dissolved oxygen, but also purifying other toxins as well. Kelp farming is especially useful because it's not only a solution to a problem, but it's a budding business as well. There's financial incentive to growing and producing kelp. So, um, farmers can harvest it and process it, turning it into a variety of different products such as toothpaste, ice cream, and even biodegradable plastics. This is a solution to climate change that people will want to invest in because they can be, because as well as saving the planet, they'll be making money as well. The only problem is that right now, kelp farming is largely inefficient. Um, and this is a major hindrance, um, preventing it from becoming a fast growing global industry. Two of the initiatives of the Life Below Water um, UN Sustainable Goal is to minimize ocean acidification and improve the resilience of, e of marine ecosystems. Our solution will address both of these issues by increasing the efficiency of kelp farming, which will help it turn, uh, which will help it grow into the scale it needs to um, purify the water and help all of the ecosystems underwater. Um, and it will give a boost to local economies in the process. There are two current methods of harvesting kelp, harvesting by hand and the rain controller method. Harvesting by hand, they pull all the kelp that they have grown from the line onto the boat and then cut it by hand. This job is highly inefficient and it requires a lot of effort. And then the rain controller is they rake the kelp out of the ground, destroying local ecosystems and doesn't allow the kelp to regrow, so it's unsustainable. We believe that farmers shouldn't have to decide between hours of impossible work or being single-handedly responsible for destroying a local ecosystem. So we created a new solution. Our solution is a super system for cutting and collecting kelp while still in the water. A circular blade will rest surrounding the kelp. The, the blade will then compress the kelp, cutting it. The kelp will then fall into the net um, underneath, which will then be unclipped from the buoys and pulled easily into the boat where the kelp can be poured out. The net will then be reset underneath the kelp where the, pro where the kelp can regrow and the process will start all over again. It is easy and efficient. We made a chart with the uh, uniqueness and comparisons of all three methods. And what we hope is that our new method will solve. It will be fast, efficient, low effort. The time, will grow, time to grow back will be fast. It won't disrupt local ecosystems and the yield will be high. The rake controller is also fast, efficient, and low effort, but the kelp never grows back and it destroys local ecosystems. While harvesting by hand, it's slow, it's inefficient, and it has a lot of effort, but there, the kelp does grow back and it doesn't improve or it does just doesn't destroy the ecosystem. Our solution is unique because it um, harvests the kelp while it's still in the water, so you don't have to disrupt anything around it, and also. Um, as compared to all the other systems, it is the only thing that does not sacrifice either the health of the ecosystem or the time spent of the farmers. In conclusion, for farmers that don't want to pull their crops into their boat and cut it, our underwater harvesting tool makes gathering kelp fast, efficient, and easy. And unlike other products, we focus on leaving the lines of kelp in the water. No other crop is harvested as kelp is today, either by hand or by destroying everything around it. So we believe that it is time to bring kelp farming into the 21st century.